Um, the first question here about the timing, um, whether it is hasty or not. Well, I'm not aware of any law that prescribes what time it should take you to start a particular case. No two cases are the same. We are aware of cases that are non-political. For instance, the case of the popular kidnapper. Yeah. Was it also political that it took so long that investigation had to uh, continue for several months? No two cases are the same. And there is no any law that prescribes that it should be two days or two years. It is up to the um, institutions that have the mandate uh, to investigate and prosecute, to follow their own procedure. What we are saying simply is allow systems to operate. Don't interfere in the processes. And that's the only, we can, the only way we can have strong institutions in this country. Without strong institutions, we cannot build democracy. And then we are going to find it difficult to actually grow our country. That's our concern. Whether the president is aware of the CJN, I'm not in a position to say whether the president is aware or not, and I've not said that here. I am questioning certain segments of this country being led by PDP of their disposition to issues like this. I'm merely questioning that, and I'm asking questions whether this has to be taken as mere coincidence. When each time somebody is alleged to have committed any crime that has to do actually with corruption, then PDP is up in arm. And certain elements in the civil society and the bar are also known to quickly take up arms when such issues are raised. And we are saying the best you expect from anybody who means well for this country, who is patriotic enough, is to encourage the system to fulfill itself. There is a procedure. Even when the procedure is wrong, the system should be allowed to sort it out. That is what happens in Sena climes. As far as Sam Farah is concerned, I can assure you that the cases are in court. So, the, um, your statement regarding the fact that we lost Sam Farah um, is far from what is on ground. That case is still in court, and we are waiting for the court verdict on that. And I'll take that along with whether we are afraid of the CJN. We are not afraid of anybody. See, APC administration is not at the mercy of anyone because we are going to ensure we follow the process in all what we do. And we would stand um, firmly on what the laws prescribe. And as far as the election coming, taking your question along, as far as the 20 um, 19 February 16 and March 2nd elections are concerned. We, as a party in the race, seeking a renewal of our mandate, we look back, so far back, to see who actually is trailing us. It's difficult to see. So we are so much confident because Nigerians are not to be taken for granted. Nigerians know, the Nigerians know why we get to where we are. And they can see what has happened in the last three and a half years. These are things that, as somebody say, these are things you can see with your eyes. Some you can touch. It's no longer a matter of air say. The achievements of this government are enough for us as campaigners.